You throwing her here with uh, Hank Dilworth, uh, keeping that Liberty legacy alive here at the 44th A6 Mount Carmel Invitational. Uh, obviously, uh, anything that Denoff can do, uh, Dilworth can do, uh, can do better. Uh, but uh, I mean, obviously, it, you know, just you, you having the blessing of racing in these conditions, right? Because yeah. I mean, obviously, I know part of the attraction is not only you know the hill aspect to get you guys ready for Cape Creek, uh, but obviously, you know, uh, to, to find cooler temperatures than, than you're training uh, you know, on a normal basis uh, uh, back home. And it seemed like it all came together today. How, how proud were you uh, of just the way you executed that race? Um, I'm proud of how I did placement-wise. Um, I was a little disappointed time-wise as I ran slower than my 5K PR for the three miles. So I'm disappointed in that aspect, but overall I think it's a good race. I think it went out a little faster than I expected. And so I think that kind of messed with how I was pacing. But that was pretty good. So, I mean, obviously, I know how you know, your level of fitness, and I, I know your capability of competing against anybody, not only in Arizona, California, the, uh, the entire uh, Southwest. So, I mean, just even though it's only September uh, 21st, like, was, was there the ambition to be like, look, I, you know, I, I feel like uh, if, if, if I set up the race you know, uh, the way I want to, the, you know, sub 15, you're like, I mean, that was that was kind of the the target or the ambition coming in. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of been my strategy is before I would have like somebody to pace off. Usually that was my teammate who just graduated. But now I've kind of said to myself, look, I need to go out and take control of the race. Otherwise, the people who are maybe pace slower but have a faster kick, they'll, just, they'll beat me every time. So I have to take that, take it out and not let them have a chance to out kick me. Most definitely. Well, and, and when, when you took control, you know, in, the, in, in that second mile, like you said, you know, maybe from a, a time outcome, uh, it didn't it, it didn't match up with what you thought was possible. But the fact that you made a decisive move, that you made a significant surge, and then you kind of withstood what Camden from Rancho Bernardo was you know, was doing, and the rest of the group, like, I mean, obviously that's that's going to play well, you know, in in the next week when obviously there's going to be a lot more people around you, right? Yeah. So uh, just, but just. In terms of the overall fitness and and your consistency right now, Hank, I, I mean, just how are you feeling heading into Twilight this year in comparison to the past? Um, I'm really excited. We've had a few workouts where I've done really well and gone like just a bit past my target pace, and so I'm really excited to run on a course that's really flat and I put my spikes in and really just go out there and race. Most definitely, because I mean, obviously, Ryan had you know such a breakthrough performance here. Donovan had you know, arguably the best performance of his career there. I mean, like, do, you, do you feel like, like, I mean, again, you can't control what, you know, any of the athletes from Colorado or Utah or Texas are going to do, but I mean, do you, do you feel like things are, you know, are are lining up the way you want them? Because, I mean, obviously, no better time and place than to do it under the lights at Toka in your home state. Yeah, um, I'm really excited just because there will be a lot of really fast competition, so I can kind of just run with them for a bit and then try and take control in the latter half. And instead of kind of just almost not necessarily running alone, but it, like when you can't like see the people behind right. you, it kind of messes with your head a little. Most definitely. I mean, obviously, you know, it's it's like I said, it's a Liberty Legacy. Obviously, with Ryan's success and your success here, so it's not like the first time that you know certainly that you've seen the course, uh, you know, or a lot of the upperclassmen have have, have, have seen the course. But uh, but you know, just the fact that you you get to uh, really kind of test yourself on, on these hills. Like it, it may not apply directly to Toka, but obviously it's it's gonna play favor to get you ready for uh, for Cave Creek. So uh, just uh, how good did you feel about how you handled the hills this time around? Um, I feel like I really did well on the hills. That's where I, I caught a lot of people going up and then coming down is kind of where I caught the rest of the people and just took it from there. Awesome. Hank, uh, great work today. Uh, we hope to see that number 14 in the left-hand column uh, uh, next uh, Friday night uh, at the Desert Twilight Festival. Uh, but great performance today. Uh, stay healthy and safe trip back. Thanks.